Yes, good morning. I wanted to send out thoughts and prayers to uh, the family who lost their seven-year-old daughter in Houston, Texas. Um, young African-American girl who was killed, ironically, by a young African-American man who he was very wrong for what he did. However, he did turn himself in and um, he's facing capital murder charges. And this is another example of why guns are out of control and gun violence needs to be dealt with. Um, this is another horrific, senseless act of too much shooting. And then when you shoot and you kill innocent bystanders, this is very sad to see with her mother. And they were uh, looking for a white male, ironically, in the situation. But kind of been a young African-American kid who uh, did the heinous act. And uh, it's very sad on all levels. Um. It's very terrifying when you see that the young girl gets killed like this and uh, these weapons, like I said, these weapons are really out of control. Um, they are a real concern and you really hope that sometimes something will be done to curb all this gun violence and all this negative uh, push that's being done with it because, you know, when you are people retaliating Especially if they're doing these drive-bys and they're not paying attention. Not that you should be out there doing it anyway, but if they're out there doing this and they strike somebody that they shouldn't have struck. Um, this is truly a sad day and time um, on so many levels. And um, this young girl didn't get a chance to even finish with school and, and grow and everything. And she's a, it's a senseless act of violence. And you have to ask yourself, why does this happen so often? And why is this considered the norm when this is not normal? It's like the Wild Wild West. And, um, you know, it's just a painful reminder of why there needs to be a ban and a lock on these guns, you know. And people need to take heed, especially when things like this happens, because this happens uh, far too often. Innocent people's lives are being taken because of the senseless and heart-wrenching um, heart moment of just firing away and, and no repercussions, you know, not at the time. But like I said, um, if there's anything good out of it, the young man did turn himself in and he did take responsibility for his actions, even though it was a very fatal circumstances and it's very unfortunate and sad and thoughts and prayers are with the mother and their sisters and family and so that's my take on the um, tragic death of the seven-year-old girl in houston texas feel free to leave comments have a good day peace